Welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we're doing another shoe review. This time it's going to be on the Elijah Burrow Pro. It's his first pro shoe for Vans, so that's always awesome. I had to get it the day it came out. I got the black and red colorway. So let's just jump into the review. Let's start out with just overall. I really like this shoe. It held up really well. Um, there were some negatives about it. We will get into that. But first thing we're going to jump into is the board feel. It had really good board feel, like from the day I wore them to right now. Uh, I was really surprised. Don't mind the salt, it's winter. I was really surprised with how built up the forefoot was that I still had as good a board feel as I had. So that's a plus for board feel. The toe cap. I really like the toe cap because it kind of took a Chima Ferguson 2 approach and had the little black rollover part. Held up really well. I had flick from the day I got them to the today. They've had flick from the beginning to right now. I haven't really lost much, so props on the toe cap. Next thing was the heel, the cushioning. It's the, got the waffle control from Vans. They just introduced it with this shoe. Even though it doesn't have an actual insole or ultra cush, impact protection is from these very deep divots. Um, it worked really well. I never bruised a heel. I landed Primo a couple times. I stopped on it. And that was one of my biggest concerns was the way I stopped using my heel. I was worried they would chip or fray or pop out or something would happen to them because of how I stop. Skated the shoes how I normally would. I didn't give them any breaks just because they were different. This being the different part. But yeah, nothing changed to me. I liked the shoe a lot. It was really good. Last positive thing I have to say is that it had very little break-in time. These shoes were comfy from the day I put them on until right now. Like They did nothing but get better. So if you're in the game for one of these, I'd swoop them up. To add to another positive, it does have this Lux liner. The tongue is stitched to the actual shoe, so the tongue can't move, it can't flop out. Even if your lace is ripped, the shoe won't get much looser. It will get a little looser, but not much. So that's kind of cool. A lot of more shoes are doing that now. They used to just have the little straps, but this is actually like stitched into the damn shoe so it, it ain't coming out. Now for the negative part. These are the things that I thought were wrong with the shoe or that could have used a little bit of improvement. They came out on the 9th of February and today is the 5th of March. So I've had them for almost a month and I skate like two or three times a week if I can. You do the math. Um, they're already blowing out right here. You can see the Duracap. It's another thing I'm upset about. We'll get to that. Um, Duracap's coming out, it's flailing apart, but as you can see, like the rest of the shoe is holding up amazingly. It's just this part. So if they could have had the toe cap come up and like maybe cover this or change the way it was stitched right here, that probably would have made the shoe last a lot longer than what it did. Because now I gotta shoe goo it, do all that extra work, when I just wanna skate. I already went over it a little bit, but the stitched in insole, I'm not a fan because as you know, I like using FP insoles. It's not really like a negative or anything, but I just don't like that I can't take the insole out and put my own in. And the last bad thing is when I saw the ad for this shoe, it said that the Duracap went from here all the way down and then around the toe, just like this ad says. As you can see, the Duracap does not go up any higher where? Yeah, there you go. The Duracap does not go up anywhere from this part where by the laces or anything where it said it did. I can't find it. Um, if you want to let me know if you found it or where it's at, let me know. I only see it around where it's stitched. A little bit of false advertisement, in my opinion. Yeah, that is what I thought. Of the Burrow Pros, again, if I had to give these stars, we'll continue the trend of doing them out of 10 stars, I would have given this shoe 8 out of 10, my opinion. 
There are a couple things that they could have fixed to make it better, but it's really comfy, it's super durable besides this. Um, the bottoms held up really well. I don't know, these shoes were awesome from the day I put them on. So, props to Vans, congratulations to Elijah Burrell, and yeah, that's my shoe review. Uh, if you liked the video, share it with your friends. If you want to get the burrows because of this video, let me know. Tag me in something. But yeah, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Like it. All that jazz. YouTuber stuff. And till the next video, I will see you guys later. Inspiration, the music is so profound. Any nigga who's looking, they got it, I'll shut them down.